and a bait. And that's the best I can do. You can't get an invisible hook or an invisible swivel. Moving on, there's not just the bottom rig, there's also the pop-up rig as well. It's something I do use more so in the summer. I know a lot of people use it in the winter purely because you could pop, pop up above the debris, but I'll explain why I don't um, very shortly. But likewise, you see, I'm using exactly the same rigs I just made for you a short time ago, but instead I've got a pop-up board here on the end of it, still got it hinged back here, and I've got a solar depth charge for critical balancing of that pop-up. And you'll see that it works just as well. And the good thing is, again, it's invisible. And that's why I like it. And look at that, that's just excellently balanced. Sitting up, you can, again, you can lengthen the, the length of your link to whatever you want. So you can pop it up as shallow to the bottom or as deep to the bottom as you want it to be. And uh, it's just a very good rig and it's just hanging there beautifully for that carp to come along, suck it up and eject and away, off you go. The reason I don't particularly, and again, personal preference, go for the pop-ups at Pallington is that I always, apart from when I glug a bait, I always use solar pop-up foam. It's a perfect presentation foam. And basically, it's something I made earlier. Again, exactly the same rig as we had before, but with a small piece of pop-up foam squeezed onto the hook and then covering the actual, the actual tip of that hook as well, the point, so protecting it. So I'm not gonna pick up any debris. I cast out and it's a good eye leveler. You can see that piece of white flying out when you cast. You can keep your eye on it. That's not the purpose of it, but it's just another of these advantages. Hopefully this will work now in the tank and you'll see what happened and why I don't go for the pop-up. You see that per piece of foam there, it's just holding that bait up. And it'll last about 30 seconds, hold it up above all those debris, and then it'll, it's an organic material, it just breaks down. Naturally, there's no ill effects to any of the plant life, fish life at all in the lake. And what it'll do is it'll just fall down and it'll sit above any debris. There you see, off it goes, it's just breaking down, and you see how slowly it does. So you can move your weight around, knowing that you and there it's gone. So basically the advantage is that finish this off for me by having that foam, it just slowly settles down on top of any debris, on the bottom, any leaves, sticks, or whatever like that, and just lies there perfectly above any rubbish on the floor. And that's why I don't use it instead of pop-up systems. Uh, it works for me, and the more I talk about it, the more I want to get out there and do it. So that's where I'm going now. Well, I've escaped back out into the wild where I really want to be, away from the bivvies and the showrooms, back to what I really want to do, and that's been fishing. Still again on that fly rod, straight away, a couple of minutes, and a beautiful little pristine Pallington common. Lovely orange winter fins, and absolutely unmarked. Nice little mouth. Bit of damage there, which I treated earlier with the Clinique. Let's have a check on the other side for the camera, just to show what I mean. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. There's only one place for her now. Let's pop her back and uh, get back onto that rod and see if we can pop some more out. There's bigger ones there, but I'm not really bothered. Anything will do. Back you go, girl. Again. Keeping nice and low, paramount of, of the safety of the fish. Got to look after them. This is where I'm going to get cold as well. Gorgeous. Oh, it's cold. Do you really want to go back there? And away. Way to fight another day. They're still topping out there. Still moving around. We've got Grandfather Bailiff over there. A man of his Asian stature, we had to get him a little chair to sit on. We've got Steve there looking for some marines. You caught anything, Nick? Nothing at all. Are they still moving over there? 
What's Steve got those glasses for? Your eyesight failing that much, is it, Nick? It's the only chance you'll ever get seeing a 30 pounder through those, not on the bank. Not going to be rude to me. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Well, it's happened. It's been a long, hard wait. But I have the middle rod go off, and we've hooped into a fish, cut right into those margins over there. I put a better bait out, and uh, it's happened, so good. If you can just move my third rod for us, sir, please. Only a small one, but it's a fish. And they really have... Yeah, please, Rod. I say, it really has been a bit of a struggle. They've come out on the surface all right, and the rest of the boys are having a crack with controller floats. But this is the first little run. Let's give them a bit of room to move in. Only a small fish, but be the start of great things. That's a red herring bait, 18 mil. So I moved up from 14s to 18s and literally chucked it right into those reeds. A little common. Thank you, Rod. Happy now. Off the surface and off the bottom. So out of the air next, that's it. And hooking mats just over there. A lovely little golden winter common. And one wife with one hooking mat. Thank you, Tinny. Lovely little fish. Plump as a little pig. Hoofed into that 18 mil bait, so. It was worth the change, that was certain. Like I said earlier, you've got to muck around in the winter. They're still here, the fish, they don't go anywhere. Just got to work on them, find them, and still catch them. Look at that. Again, doing the honours, holding up those fins. Lovely big fat mouth, nice barbels. Super stuff. Have a look on the other side. Not a mark at all. Look at that. Only four or so pounds, but pristine condition. Good clean barbels. Lovely. All right, we'll pop her back and keep her leg. Look for some more. This water is so cold. Look at that. Back into the depths. Super stuff. I love it. Well, while Mr. Dale has been away warming his cockles away from the bank, we've been out here in the cold, the still of the night, and we still managed to 